Hey guys, today we're going to be looking at what's in the box for the First Flush Plus with the Max Chamber uh, upgrade kit. So it's just, the idea is that it's a um, 90 millimeter or um, small pipe size at the top and then the Max Chamber is, it gives you a bigger, wider area to store water underneath. So I'll just show you what's in the box. You can check out our install guides um, and an overview video in some of our other videos, but this is what's in the box. Firstly, we've got the T-piece. This can be mounted either direction you need, so just check the guides for what you need there. That's the T. Now, you'll also get this guy here. So this is the Max Catch uh, adapter, we'll call it. So that will end up fitting into the T-piece there. That's what gives you that bigger diameter uh, for you to catch water in, which means that you can store more water in a, in a smaller area. So that's the adapter. And then uh, what you'll also find is you've got this, this piece here, this seat looking piece. The idea here is that water flows through here and then the ball will end up sealing on there uh, during the first flush process. And I should have shown you this one first. What actually happens is that pushes in there like so. And note that the funnel faces down. So the ball will end up pressing up against the, I guess the smallest side of that funnel. So that'll go in, we'll put that adapter in there and that, that will end up getting glued in place and uh, you'll just have to align the, the dots on there. Uh, we've also got this. So this is the, the base um, sort of end coupling. So this will end up going at the very bottom of your system. That'll get glued onto a bit of pipe. This guy here, I've got two of those, sorry. This one here is the, I guess we call it the conical end cap. The reason it's clear, so you can see if there's any debris in there. The reason it's got that cone shape is it helps the water rush out of there a little bit faster. So the end coupling goes on the pipe. This one just ends up screwing on uh, and tightening up on there. Note that there's a little O-ring in there. Just make sure it's in place uh, nice and neatly before you uh, screw those on. We've also got the ball. So that goes inside your tube. That will rattle around inside your tube when there's no water in it. It'll sit like that when you first install it. We've got this one. This is just the fine candlestick filter. I call it the candlestick filter for obvious reasons. That will end up sitting inside here. So again, check the install guide. We'll show you in a bit more detail. Now, this little uh, union joint, or this sort of, we call it the nut and the tail, that will end up screwing on there. And you'll actually have the candlestick in there. You'll have one of these washers in. Uh, and then that just ends up screwing up and tightening up underneath. With the washers, you've got a black set and you've got a red set. The black one's got a slightly smaller hole than the red ones. Um, I would probably suggest, you know, a good spot to start might be to put in that one millimeter size one. You'll see on the back side they've got some numbers. Uh, put that one in, see how it goes. If it clogs up a bit too quickly or if it drains too fast or too slow, um, you can adjust to these. So just make sure you keep all these because you might decide down the line that you want to uh, change them. So keep those in your toolbox somewhere spare. You'll also find that there's this other end coupling. Uh, some kits will have this, this smaller one and that's for the cases where you don't actually want to use this max catch component. So that's just like the standard size. So some, some kits will actually come with both. Uh, and then you can just make the choice as to which size you use. Note that this clear end cap, that will, that'll screw onto either of them. So that's, oops, there we go. So that's what that's for. Um, and you'll notice as well that we give you two sets of uh, wall brackets. So there's a smaller set and there's a bigger set. Uh, the smaller set is for this top section. And the bigger set is if you're using the, the Max Catch adapter. Uh, that'll be to clamp around the two pipes that you've got there. Uh, you might find that you've got a few adapters in your kit as well, depending on which country you're in. And those adapters will typically be fitting in in these portions here. Um, but there might be certain kits where we've got an adapter which sits there and here as well. Uh, but that'll just depend on what country you're in. So, 
That's everything that comes in the box for the first Fosh Plus with the MaxCat Match Max Chamber Upgrade Kit. Thanks.